Hey guys, this is Uri Peleg and I'm gonna talk to you today about uh, peel solver rabbit holes and how a lot of people do themselves more harm than good uh, using peel solver. So I love peel solver, don't get me wrong. Most of the poker work I do is using this program. It's a wonderful program, super, super useful. But uh, most people I know and most videos I've watched the program is being used in a non-constructive way. Uh, people like imitating PO solver strategies. I'll give an example of how I see the program being used. Um, so uh, this is button versus big blind 1085 uh, with two c-bet sizing. So first way a lot of people like using the program is to figure out what sizing they should be c-betting. Um, and then after they've figured that out, often they will have a hand that bothered them, that they've marked the hand, they go ahead and look at the turn play and try to figure out if they play their hand well or not. Uh, in this case, let's say we have queen of hearts, nine of diamonds, and we tripled, barreled, and, and villain called, and we could look and say, ah, oh, I, I bet this, we got this river, I then uh, bet the river, um, and you'd say I made a small bet and not an over bet, but Pio Solver likes a small bet too. And then a villain called a ten of diamonds, and that's gonna be, uh, you know, a half a big blind mistake, and my play was good. And and then move on. This is a common way to use Pio Solver, and I think it's a very bad way. Everything I've said is bad. You shouldn't be doing any of this. Um, to, to kind of understand this. I'm going to look at an A7 deuce board and I'm going to start showing you guys uh, what lies on the other side of the pill solver rabbit hole. So we look at eight, A7 deuce, uh, we full range C bet for one third pot and uh, yeah, let's say we're comparing EVs and we look at the EV. Uh, this is the EV for the entire strategy. And, and here, why am I writing what do EV numbers truly mean? Uh, because this number, what it really means is this is the EV of PO Solver's complete strategy played against, uh, against PO Solver. And in reality, both of these things are not true. Uh, a, you're not playing against PO Solver, and that's something you get to reflect using node locking. Uh, but to B, and, and I think this is something a lot of people are, are missing, you're not really playing like PO Solver, and the fact that you're trying to imitate the program without understanding, uh, you're kind of looking down Alice's rabbit hole and seeing a tiny bit and and then you know just taking it from there and, and really that that's more random noise than anything else you're really making your game worse I'll look at a few examples to show you how crazy things get and and why this doesn't work so a7 deuce a turn 10 of diamonds uh, you guys can see here deuce x is barreling at a really high frequency on the turn and uh, looking at this, um, if we try to understand it, it, it kind of makes sense. Uh, I think it's common to say that uh, deuce x is a good blocker uh, for the top of villain's range, and therefore uh, these hands are betting a turn in order to triple barrel. Um, and, and, and you know, nothing too surprising, you're going to see these bottom pair hands betting on a lot of boards, and maybe you add this to your game. You've seen someone do it, you've seen the solver do it, and, and again, this is, uh, this is a glimpse. So w w this is when things are going to start getting crazy. So 10 of diamonds every do sex barrels. Uh, 9 of diamonds, uh, none of the do sex are barreling. Four of diamonds, zero percent of, of deuce x are barreling. Uh, king of diamonds, every single <laughs> deuce x is barreling. So 
this is really crazy and if you're trying to imitate this and you don't understand the reason that this is happening you really have no chance you're gonna constantly mess up you're gonna misapply things and you're gonna do them in the wrong way at the wrong time we said uh, all right, we're back on the ten of diamonds let's make it the, the king of ten of diamonds so sorry um, yeah we, we said that uh, we understand why Dusex is barreling, it's to triple barrel. Now we're being naive, let's say we didn't glimpse the times it doesn't happen. Um, so, you know, we bet turn. Queen of Diamonds River. And uh, it is quite often a, a triple barrel. Uh, oh, mixed frequency, but that's okay. And, you know, here you might feel pretty okay about this result, uh, but I understand what's going on and why. So I can tell you in advance, if I put a five, Dusex is not gonna bet on the river. And I can actually tell you in advance exactly which turn cards it's gonna bet and which river cards it's gonna bet. And I can do this for every board because I understand the reason for what's happening, I understand how it's part of a strategy, what it's trying to counter from the other player. And there are a lot of these hidden gems in PO Solver. Whenever you discover one and you understand one, you take your game to a new level. You're doing something better than almost everyone you're playing against. It, and, and it becomes really easy once you understand it. There's no more memorization. If you know the reason these things are happening, it, it just starts making sense. I'm I'm gonna show uh, I'm gonna show two more examples, and and we'll finish with that. So um, first, we'll go back to the ten eight five and uh, bet flop. We got the king of hearts turn. And rather than focusing on what does Queen Nine with a heart do, I'll point you guys to the fact that three deuce of spades and four deuce of spades and four three of spades are all barreling at a hundred percent frequency, as well as you know clubs and and diamonds. And I'll, I'll say again, this seems crazy. You're probably not doing this. But this is happening for a reason, and it's an important reason. And if you're spending your time working out what's the optimal bet size and what you should have been doing with your specific combo, you really waste. You're looking in the wrong direction. That's not gonna get you anywhere. What's gonna add to your win rate is understanding these things. Um, we'll look at, at the last example: um, the Jack Eight Three Two Tone Board the BVB. Uh, we see bet flop third pot at the six of diamonds turn. I like diamonds, <laughs> as, as you might have noticed. And we'll see king queen offsuit often over betting the turn. Um, and, and again, if you're analyzing this hand and looking at this spot, and you're just seeing what Peel Solver is doing in order to say, like, this is okay or this is not okay, or maybe even node locking the other guy's response if you're a bit more of an advanced user. Uh, you're really missing the fact, right? Because we see King Queen should barrel, but we don't know why it should barrel, right? Looking at this, we know it should. No, there is a frequency. We know there's an EV, but we don't know why. And if we don't know why, and now we check river and villain over bet shoves. Are you really going to be check calling king queen more often than not? Um, and again, all of these things, uh, once you start to understand how PO Solver works and why things are happening, uh, my experience has been that this is not scary and it's not weird and it's not random this is part of a really powerful really beautiful really well thought out strategy and when you understand how it works uh, you'll be excited to to do this because you'll understand deeply why this is effective um what 
yeah, I think I think I've already already said enough. Um, so yeah, if you want to learn more about this approach, and I'm I'm really only scratching the surface with what I'm showing you guys here. Uh, please uh, feel free to fill in your details in the contact form on the site. Thank you. Um.